Guiltily, has that ever been attempted before? What? Oh, this. Oh, yeah, it's just one of those, um, euphoniums. Okay, so is this what you do at night when we're sleeping? Have extra adventures? I don't sleep as much as you. I keep busy. Doing what? And actually tell me for once. You're my friend. My best friend, so tell me what it is you do. I just helped out a possessed orchestra on a moon base. Before that, I prevented two supernovas, read the history of the universe, all in jokes, and did a bit of locum work in Brixton. Lovely practice, very short-staffed. What's wrong? We're in such tiny parts of your life, aren't we? All the friends you make just flicker in and out. You must hardly notice us. Hey, mate. You are enormous parts of my life. And you are all I ever remember. Speaking of which... My life doesn't make any sense. I know. That's what I've been trying to talk to you about. I know. Like... When I, when I first met you, I didn't have parents. I never had parents. And then you did whatever it was you did and rebooted the universe and, and suddenly I had parents. And I've always had parents. And I remember both lives in my head, both of them in my head at the same time. And it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, but it shouldn't be. Why is it fine? Rory was a Roman for 2,000 years. He says he hardly remembers it. Ah, but sometimes you catch him just staring. The thing is, Amy, everyone's memory is a mess. Life is a mess. Everyone's got memories of a holiday they couldn't have been on or a party they never went to or met someone for the first time and felt like they've known them all their lives. Time is being rewritten all around us, every day. People think their memories are bad, but their memories are fine. Past is really like that. That's ridiculous. Ah, now he's starting to get it. Put your hand here. What is it? Cardiff's telepathic circuits. What do I do? Nothing. Just relax. Your saddest ever memory was at a fairground in 1994. Can you remember why? No. Hang on, did I? Did I drop in an ice cream? That can't be my saddest memory. Remembering ice cream is always sad. Did we just land? Huh. Where are we? What happened after you dropped the ice cream? Nothing. I, I cried. No. No, hang on, there was a lady and she bought me another one. No, oh, good for her. What did she look like? She looked like she... She had a funny dress, a nightdress. <laughs> she had red hair. Doctor. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? What is the point? The nice lady. What did she say to you? Cheer up. Have an ice cream. Amy. Time and space is never, ever going to make any kind of sense. A long time ago, you got the best possible advice on how to deal with that. So, I suggest you go and give it. Okay, okay, so I ask you a big, important question about life, and you're basically telling me to go and buy myself an ice cream. No, Amy, I'm telling you to go and buy us both ice creams. I love fairgrounds. I hate you. No, you don't. If you get scared on ghost trains, I get a bit scared, so is it okay if I hold your hand? 